Okay, so here we are. Trolls, Beastmen, and Draconians. What other races are there? I think you've seen, like, Dark Elves. Oh, there's a ton of races. Um, let's see if I can remember them all. So first you have two planes of existence. You have Arcanus and Mirror. We're currently playing on Mirror. Mirror, there's, these are the races on Mirror that I can remember. Beastmen, Troll, Dark Elves, Dwarves, Goblins, Draconians. I think it's just, just the six of them. And then Arcanus, there's High Elves, High Men, Orcs, Nomads, uh, Clackons, which are insects, uh, Halflings, uh, Lizardmen. <laughs> I think there's one or two more others. Where are the dwarfs in this playthrough? We haven't seen any yet. Just because they're not, we haven't seen them doesn't mean they exist. They, they're just not close to us at this point. So far, we've only run into other trolls, uh, goblin, one city, go city of goblins, one city of draconians. Um, no dwarves yet. No dark elves yet either. Anyway, we gotta go kill these uh, pesky ghouls. Our ghouls. Hellhounds don't want you guys to get too close. Magicians with their, or draconian magicians with their little fireball. A little bit of damage on this underground. Will fighting dwarves and dark elves be fun? It'll be a challenge. They're the two toughest on this on this plane, so. Skyver, you still like playing hobbits, but they aren't good substitutes for drums. When you hit them with drumsticks, they just squeal. Wow. Seems very violent, Skyver. Sounds very, very violent. Okay, where's our shaman? Shaman are here, so blast them. Okay, troll spearman, get over there. Swordsman, get up there. Stay back there. We'll make sure they're weakened a little bit before we get in there. Don't seem to be hobbit forming. You're not helping. everyone. My name is Veronica and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes that live. That didn't go well. You can also find Gimpy on YouTube where he posts previous episodes and highlights of the stream. Just scroll down under the video screen and click the YouTube button in the about section. Then click the subscribe button to follow. That's it. 
thanks. Uh, can't move them out over there. They should have left the hellhounds behind. The trolls are good enough. Mostly. They were mostly good enough. Blast them with magical fire stuff. Of course, we could just ditch these hellhounds and save us some mana. And by ditch, I mean have them fight and die. Kind of want him to die so we can get some mana back. There we go. And now the trolls can finish them off. And that one troll unit we want, lost, they're going to come back. Because they're going to generate back into life. It's back to life. Not into life, but back to life. Skybird, you know, the method of leveling hobbits and RPGs was less than optimal. The screams from under the steamroller still haunt you. <sighs> they should haunt you. You should, you should burn in hell for that kind of stuff. Anyway, lost a unit of hellhounds. We got money and mana for this fight so why are you steamrolling hobbits where do you even get the steamroller to do that hey look, there's a road here okay you guys are going that way that's our turn sawmill in 10 or we can buy it now for gulsamra Grass pile, marketplace in three, fighters guild in seven, marketplace in two over at Forn. And more settlers. We doing on food or plus two on food currently. Uh, I'm thinking more engineers. They're kind of expensive. I probably shouldn't because we're only plus one gold. Stables. No, oh, we need two. Need more money. Need more money. Somebody loan me some gold. What's this road doing here? There was a city here of goblins that got rolled over and then we just finished it off because that was where the, the ghouls were living. Okay, you guys. Up here. And calling. I think that worked out. It's our turn. Marketplace at four, and so we got a little bit more money now. Settlers in seven. Uh, farmer's market. For more food. You guys are just exploring. So one Naga in here. How did we not kill? Oh, because we ran into it with the, the spirit. That's why we didn't take this. Because it wasn't a fair fight. Ah, Muck. Rothy Muck. It's a Interesting city name for trolls, but okay. Guard. Okay. 
the sawmill in eight turns. How about now? So we can get building up these spearmen to get some of this unrest down. And now we don't have enough money really to buy anything worthwhile. Oh, we're good. Okay, you got again we're going after here. So cost the mud. Spearman and five. Um now. Get some of this uh, unrest a little bit lower. We're going to want to do a shrine after that, too, after the granary. Like place some grass pile, armory stuff. We're good. We're good. Farmer's market. Tower and keep. Swan Naga. I do want an undead Naga. Nagas are summoned. So his upkeep would be three mana if we took him. Hmm. No, we'll just kill him. Thirty mana. Okay, Gossama, this is garrison stuff. So we've got um, rebel down to one. So guard. We don't have a whole lot to do. We don't have a hero yet. Well, we lost our hero. Oh, Rocket came in here to visit me. Let's see how long he stays. He's laying down. He might be not be. He may be here for a little while. We'll see. Anyway, tale of two cities coming together. Diplomatic union brings the city of Adlerium Mount into your domain. Gain twenty six gold and draconians. A draconian city. Okay. We didn't have a choice, did we? So where is it? Ah, it's up there. So it's not that far. It's not on the water. Uh, let's see, what do we actually have here? So gold, nightshade, and a wild game. So not horrible. Kind of stuff. So I'm big as a city, 7,000, it's not huge. But man, that's a lot of food that we just got. So we need that, we need a sawmill. Okay, even on the food. And unrest is 5%. So apparently draconians and trolls don't get along too well. Because this is what? 35 minus 35 to resistance. So it's supposed to be supposed to be at 40 percent. Trolls and Draconians do not like each other, obviously. And you guys still might go beat up on the Hellhounds, maybe. Yeah, we should be able to get them. And Bra is now a city. Want to build housing for a little while till they get up 2,000. Uh, Population and start doing other stuff because we need food. No, no, we don't have to. Well, let's just speed up the housing build or building the housing so that'll work. Build more housing faster. Okay. 
guys. Um, you know what? We're going to use one of you guys to scout. To explore down here. Because you can fly and stuff. The rest of you sit there and keep the citizens in line. Now oh, we're still missing two food. How'd that happen? Now we have to build a road all the way over there. Okay, Draconians, where should we go looking? Nah, let's go down the coastline. Hold up one turn, we can buy that next turn. So we don't buy anything here, which we won't. Okay, next turn. So we're going to fight this one out. So we can uh, hopefully keep our casualties to a minimum. Because we want to focus on uh, trolls fighting these, nothing else. As far as hand-to-hand -hand type stuff. Although we could get our little dogs killed. Save us some mana. I could try to uh, replenish. and give all our undead units an advantage, which, guess what, they're all undead. We should probably do that. Darkness. So, all our undead creatures are going to get a bonus to strength, uh, range attack, or sorry, melee attack, range attacks, and armor, and resistance. If we have any life of creatures, they'd be taking penalties, but we don't. So don't worry about that. All our undead are stronger now. Not a lot, apparently. We're not very strong. Where's our cool? Eh, let's kill him. You won that extra range. It's two on four, and they won. Well, they're actually pretty strong, right? Ours are five and five attack, four armor. There's only three and two, so they're twice as strong between the spell and being undead.
Ta-da. Okay, some caves are mere shelter for the elements, but some have treasure troves. So we lost some mana because of the spell, but we got 110 gold. We can live with that. Okay, continue exploring. Ah, oh, dry mud. So how tough is this city going to be? 14 population. There's going to be a lot of troll spearmen in there. <laughs> okay, granary and five. We got some actual money. Bra. A few more turns away still. Temple and nine. Don't have the money. These men and one. Settlers. This is the one we're going to buy. Alarium Mount. Armorer's Guild, so they come out as regulars when they're recruited here. Oh, we can do war trolls. Why can't we do the Animus Guild? It requires that. Oh, because we don't have the temple yet. Duh. Yeah, we'll get that stuff first. Get the Animus Guild for the extra food for a farmer, so that'll get us plus nine there. If we don't switch over to some workers, which we will. Let's see what's in here. Yep, I told you. So, we got uh, two elite spearmen, three regulars, or sorry, three veterans and four, and one regular, three recruits. <sighs> Can we nuke the city? Just turn them all on dead? at 12. How many was this one? At 14. So it might be a little bit better situation, but not likely. We need a lot more trolls. Undead trolls would be perfect, but... Okay, so you guys. Oh, settlers, finally. So, be spent settlers. You guys are going. So, bras are been done. adamantine over here too somewhere right there so I'm gonna build with them too we can leech off that gold maybe yep so we go here 24 population 15 product production bonus there's more oh, there's adamantine there too hmm So we build here, 24 production, build right on the ore, and we'll be able to build, take advantage of this one too. There's wild game, there's forest. Looks like a 